always making me go so far. God, if I don't feel addicted to you. <laughs> I love you, kitty, but why do you gotta make me awaken to this beast inside? You make me feel it big time. Every time I think I'm done being jealous, you go out there looking so damn cute. How do you think that makes me feel? Every single time I see them, people oogling you, you think I wouldn't care? Oh no, kitty cat. You're mine and so many people want to call you by our name. Of course I'd be jealous. I never wanted to share a damn thing. I'm maybe a little selfish, but I don't care. Why would I stop there when everyone's trying to take you away? No, I figured the only way to do it mm, is to make you more mine. Is to give you more reasons to look at me instead of all those other asshats. Mm, you're mine, kitty. Mm. So, mind telling me, why? Why are you going out like that? Do you like it when I'm jealous? When every time I see someone looking at you, I get mad and I kiss you and I hold you close and I tell you how much I want you, kitty cat. Is that what you want? Because sometimes it sure seems like it. I'll just be here holding you in my arms and you'll... It'll make me so jealous. We have a date to go to today. And I know it's gonna happen again. And somehow you give me that little smirk. Like you're excited about it. I see you, kitty cat. Always mischievous. Always trying to make me even more jealous, isn't that right? <sighs> well, my naughty little kitty cat, if you make me too jealous, don't blame me for what happens today. I want a method of control. I want a method of getting under your skin and making you wild for me. And I think I've got it. Today, kitty cat, I'm laying down some rules. Of course, ones we can mutually agree on. If anyone hits on you, well, I'm going to take that as an invitation for me to kiss you right in front of them. Don't think I'd hold back. Mm. You're mine, kitty cat. And I'm not about to share. So they can keep on drooling. Keep on wishing. And I'll just get more and more possessive until they realize to back off. Because I'm not sharing my kitty cat. Not with anyone. Mm-hmm. No, there's something I wanted to do before anything else. Other than make you so crazy about me, kitty cat, you can't think about anyone else. I wanted to share this day with you, but I also wanted to go out. No, we'll go wherever we please. Because I'm not afraid of them. But if they happen to luck, just don't mind me. They say anything, and I'll make them walk right into the wall and embarrass themselves. I don't mess around with you, kitty cat. Nobody, and I mean nobody, gets my kitty cat. And call it what you will. 
But when I'm this madly in love with you, oh, of course I'll be excessive. I don't know when to stop. And why would I? Stopping doesn't get us anywhere, but kisses sure do. Holding you, teasing you. That'll make some progress. Maybe I won't move from right here. And I'll kiss you all day. I'll hold you close and we can just relax. Besides, I know you've had nightmares lately, haven't you? <laughs> I'll make sure you can forget them. No nightmares for my kitty cat. I won't allow it, not even a little. I'll protect you, kitty cat, from everything. You don't have to worry because I've got a way of controlling things, especially within the house. I mean, just look at how well I control Coda. All right, fine, bad example. Yeah. He's his own person, and I shouldn't have said that example. But you... You look like you want me to control you sometimes. Not in the bad kind of way, but in the good one. The one where you don't have to think about a thing. Where you just feel and experience without ever worrying about what comes next. Because you trust me. Right, kitty? Then that's all you need to do. Trust me, and I'll take good care of you. Because love isn't just about something as simple as that. Love is spending those nights giving you head pats like this. When you wake up from those nightmares and you feel like you can't do anything, that's what I want to make you feel at home. Like you're free. Not like you have to do this or that. Life is something people put a time or dollar sign attached. But I can't do that. I don't want it to be about that. And even if we only had an hour, no, a minute to live, I'd tell you the same thing. I love you, kitty cat. And I won't let go. I'll stay with you, as long as forever is. And I'll make sure that each memory is sweeter than the last. I love you so much, my kitty cat. Never change either. You're not the problem here. At the start of it, I was gonna sass you for being too damn cute. But now I feel a little softer. <sighs> However, not soft enough to stop me from kissing you and making you mine. <sighs> You're mine, kitty. Body, heart, and soul. And I take good care of what's mine. So just relax, kitty. Melt into my arms just like that. See? That wasn't so hard, was it, kitty? You know, snuggling like this makes my heart beat fast. But that's only because you're so damn cute. Every single time, it leaves me in awe how someone like you ended up with someone like me. I'm not saying I don't deserve you, but I am saying it's still surreal to me. I'm not used to this kind of thing. Me, 
The guy always called out for being a villain. Loved by someone like you. Kitty cat. You've changed my life, that's for sure. And I wouldn't really be who I am today without you. Sure, I get jealous of people. Hell yes, I do. And that's my lingering insecurities mixed with my passion, my love for you. But... Passion isn't everything. You also have to have your heart in the right place, your mind in the right place. I can't slip up, kitty cat. If I do, someone might take you away. <laughs> mm, I'm kidding. I know no one would. Because they couldn't. They'd try one thing. And I'd kick their butt. You know it. Now, um, this is kind of hard to ask. After everything, would you be willing to go on a trip to my family's villa? I know. I didn't really get along with them, but my uncle's got this villa and he's always inviting me. But he always has the condition I, I have to come there with the bringing a cutie so I'm not sure if I should trust it the villa is super nice this time of year and my uncle won't be there but I still don't know what do you think kitty cat we can bring Coda too oh hey there buddy did you enjoy your breakfast Mm. Well, Coda definitely seems interested. Mm. That's true. Um, no pressure, though. You don't have to, I just thought it might be something fun for today. Since it's been so dreary around these parts, if we go to the villa, I'm sure it'll be better weather and we'll be able to make some awesome memories. Well, you've definitely made your point. Guess we'll have to, then. I'm excited, kitty cat. Let's go. Well, I still can't believe how much trouble they gave us at the rental. I mean, come on, do I look like I'm not a safe driver? Oh, you think it was my attitude? Well, at least I got us the car. They won't remember a thing. Oh, nothing, kitty cat. I just used my quirk. Well, I gave them the money. It's just they have to trust us. And I guess they didn't because they were thinking I was a villain. I don't know. My reputation these days hasn't been the best. I'm certainly not known. I dare say I'm infamous. Though as long as I've got you and Coda, I don't care, kitty cat. Even if everyone thinks I'm some kind of horrible person, then I'll just run away from the world. Maybe I won't protect them anymore. Nah, I'm too nice for my own good. I'd still protect them even still. I wonder why. Not like they've ever done anything for me. Then again, I guess, waiting for something to return the feelings. You're the only one that ever has. You and Coda, that is. It feels nice. Being loved. Having a real family instead of one that lives in Honolulu someplace halfway across the world. Besides, my uncle, while not being an outright bad person, he's got his fair share of secrets, so I couldn't say to what extent he's a good or bad I don't like to judge people honestly. The only one I'll judge is how cute you look on the beach. <laughs> Made more sense in my head. Words are difficult, but I try my best. Now, kitty cat, did you bring everything you wanted? Don't worry. 
If we need anything, it's probably there. His villa's like a mansion. Though personally, I'd like to use the guest house. I don't know, big houses unnerve me. And if we use the guest house, it'll feel more like home. An odd thing to say when we're on a vacation, but I don't know. Big houses, they just, they creep me out somehow. Doesn't feel very homey at all. Yeah, you got a point, little buddy. Who actually needs all that space to begin with? Isn't it unnerving? It's like being in a public place, not your home. And really, if you ask me, we get too much of that already. I just want time with you. Oh, you're right, it's dangerous to kiss on the road. But, lucky for me, we're here. Yeah, intimidating, isn't it? Feels like we're trespassing on a movie star's plot. But I don't care. You make it feel like home in that small place over there. I say small, but the guest house is bigger than my house by a long shot. That's saying something. But I figure it's more suitable for just the three of us. I brought plenty of food, don't worry. We're gonna eat quite well. Hey, kitty cat. I got you this too. Just some swimwear. Hope it fits you all right. I just thought it would look good on you. What? I thought the whole point of swimwear was that less was more. Coda, were you up to something? Hmm. <coughs> he says he doesn't know what I'm talking about. He was the one who said that. Was he wrong? Neither right nor wrong. Well, I guess there's merit to it then. Must have been his opinion. Mm, you're blushing. So honestly, I'll take that as he is. It's right. You deserve to show as much as you want. <laughs> go get changed. I will too. Let's go swimming. <clears throat> Here we go. You sure this'll, um, slay them, Coda? Why are you standing up like that? Gosh, that was weird. I mean, it's a cool move, but still caught me off guard. Hmm. I love you too, buddy. Hey, kitty cat. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. Of <laughs> course not. I... I just got caught up thinking about you. Didn't expect you to beat me out here. You're looking spicy as usual. <laughs> now let's go have some fun. <laughs> not bad, kitty. <clears throat> Take this. <laughs> You're not that bad, are you, kitty? You can keep up with me, and that's more than most. After my training with Aizawa Sensei, things escalated. I got better, and now nobody can keep up with me. <laughs> you. You're damn cute. <clears throat> Splashing me in the face. You got some nerve. <laughs> I'll get you back for that. <laughs> uh, it's fun just being in the water with you. I understand if you're afraid of the ocean, but at least here it's crystal clear. Nothing lurking below and it's just sand as far as the eye can see. Just a gentle cover of sand. Isn't it great? I like the mountains in the distance and the way the clouds... Reflect the sunlight. Do you see? It's a beautiful shade of pink. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of when you're embarrassed. I imagine you with that kind of shade. Even if it doesn't really show on you all the time. <laughs> I can still tell, you know. 
Even if sometimes you don't express yourself, or maybe sometimes you overexpress yourself, I'm always keen to how you are, your gestures, your body language, everything. In fact, I think I want to be keen to a lot more than that. Maybe it seems silly to come here just to share my love with you. But I don't think it's silly at all. Follow me, kitty cat. No. No, that's not right. I'll pick you up. Just like that. Now, kitty cat. Why don't we see how comfortable the new home is? It's not bad, right? Just a quiet place where I can kiss you. Can't you see it's my jealousy? My desire for you that made me want to take you here. I just wanted more of you than ever before, and I didn't want any distractions. That's right, no one can stop me from kissing you. Except you. But I know you, kitty. And I know you love me. <sighs> Forgive me, kitty. But I'm just so crazy about you, I couldn't resist. Every time we're together, I never want to be apart again. And... Every time I see someone hit on you, I want to beat their ass. I want to take them down for even thinking about it. And that's just how I am, I guess. I can't help it, kitty cat. How am I supposed to hold back these tendencies when you're my kitty? You're mine. Hmm. <sighs> I can't just let anyone have you. And besides, we've been through everything together. We help each other out. They don't need to be here. They're just... They're unnecessary. You're right. It might be childish in a way. But... Like hell, I'm changing anytime soon. I couldn't. Because changing would mean giving them the time of day with you, kitty. And that's not happening. <sighs> Hitoshi Shinzo doesn't share his kitty with anyone. You're mine, kitty. That's what I wanted today to be about. You and I. Nothing else. No distractions. Sure, Coda too, but Kitty, lately, I just don't want to see you happy with anyone else. I just want to see you in my arms, enjoying life, living it to its fullest. Kitty cat, I think I'm going crazy for you. And I'm afraid because I see where I'm going, but I don't know... What's going to come next? I feel like if I'm not careful, I'll scare you, kitty cat. You sure about that? Well, I can't argue with that logic. Fine, kitty cat. You win. I won't stop being just the same way I have. But I guess you'll just have to deal with it then. All my desire for you. How much I want to hold you. I love it. Hmm. Just hearing you breathe. Oh, it makes me feel so safe. I'm glad it's the same for you. You know, I used to have a phobia of it. Hmm. Breathing, because I thought I, I couldn't anymore after a certain point. 
I got really sick for a while, and I didn't feel like I could breathe at all for a long, long time. But eventually, I realized it was mostly my own fear choking me, making things hard to breathe. Instead, I I went outside more often, but then I met Nell and things got complicated. Don't get me wrong, I owe her a lot. I wouldn't have been able to make it this far, or be as outgoing as I have been without all the help. It sounds kind of pathetic when I say it, but it's true. Sometimes I need help. I'm not going to beat around the bush about a kitty cat. I definitely need you. And I want you a whole lot too. You're my pretty kitty. And you always will be. Now just stay still. I'll make sure... No matter what today holds, it's certainly pull off me holding you. Mm, here you go again, kitty cat. What's the matter? Is my kitty cat scared? Oh, I could just tease you all day with that cute expression on your face. Did you think I'd let you off the hook that easy? Especially not when no matter what I do, you seem to always have something more, something even further, deeper inside your quivering lips. Deeper inside those eyes of yours that avert your gaze when I stare right into them. The kitty cat right in front of me who's so hopelessly smitten they can't move unless I whisper something in your ear and then when I do you can't stop moving from quivering so much and still I don't think you mind a kitty cat do you of course you don't that's because you're mine completely you're mine so much that no one could pry you from my grasp and more importantly no one could pry you from my lips. Oh, kitty cat. You really make me say meow. Mm. Relax, kitty. Leave everything to me. I love you so much. I'll always love you. No matter what. Now, be a good little kitty cat. And why don't you tell me what's on that quivering heart of yours? What's on your cute little mind? And why do you look so conflicted. Don't tell me, kitty cat. You want even more. Oh. Is it wrong of me? Then I want to be greedy. Just like you. Cuddle you even more. Feel you. Against me. <laughs> well. If you don't mind it. I sure as hell don't. <laughs> I'd be happy to spend every moment the rest of time with you. 
let alone just relaxing, hearing the wave. Oh, I can't get enough of it. Hmm. What's more, kitty cat? You owe me one after all that. <laughs> well, of course. You made me use my secret move. Using that. I couldn't do it again for a while. <laughs> so, you owe me. Plain and simple. Now you're forbidden to let go, no matter what. You're commanded to melt into my arms, at least until you pay me back. Damn cutie. <laughs> my kitty cat's the best. All this happened because I'm too jealous, right? Does it ever piss you off? That's kind of surprising. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, I love you so much. And I'll be damned if I don't have every sweet moment there is to have with you. I'm going to make you as crazy about me as I am about you. So you think you're as crazy as me? <laughs> I'd like to see that. But I'm afraid, kitty cat, you've got a ways to go, don't you? A ways to go that I'm happy to oblige. <laughs> you're always a smug one, kitty cat. After it's all said and done, you're always trying to get the last laugh, aren't you? That's fine. As if I wouldn't mind. <laughs> I'm game to play with my kitty cat, even if that means you lose every time. <laughs> no, that's not entirely true, kitty cat. You don't lose nearly as much as I make it out. But that's because I can't let you have the win that easy. I know you'd get too cocky, and then what am I going to do? I'd have a kitty cat I can't control on the line. And what's going to happen then? You're going to piss me off, and I'm going to have to kiss you more. Oh, trying to piss me off. Can't say I'm surprised, kitty cat. You always were a troublemaker, and I do like that. Don't forget, kitty cat. I'm your man, and I'm going to be here forever. I'm not going to let distance or troubles or anything get in the way of us. Everything's going to work out. You hear me, kitty? So just shut up and let me hug you like this. You deserve that much and so much more. That's exactly why I'm going to give it to you. All the cuddles. All the happiness. For the rest of our lives. Let's make it something really special. The time we have. Let's enjoy each other like tomorrow never comes. Because, Kitty, you're the only thing I'm sure of that will come tomorrow. You're the only thing I have faith in always being there. And I want to give you that same faith because I'm not going anywhere. No matter what, kitty cat.